and it's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten. And I'm here with a little conversational piece today about the importance of healing uh, even before you casually date. The importance of healing even before you casually date. Um, and here goes. If you haven't clicked and subscribed to my channel, please do so. Just click the subscribe button. I would appreciate it um, because I'm going to always be coming to you guys with more um, confronta confrontational, uh, motivational. Uh, you know, I'm going to post stuff that some people are afraid to say. And I think those things, some of those things we need to hear. And so that's why I felt the need to um, chime in a little bit about the importance of healing even before we casually date um this is going to be a quick little piece because i'm on my way somewhere i'm coming from the gym i know a lot of you probably say you know every time i see her post the video she's always either at the gym or coming from the gym or, you know or headed to the gym and i'm going to give you guys a little secret it's all because of my fat to short ratio <laughs> <laughs> I'm so short. I'm like 5'4 and I'm compact. I'm athletic, but I'm like a compact bill. So I, if I was a little bit taller, I, I don't think I would have to be at the gym that much, to be honest. But with me being so short, I always want to keep this balance, uh, you know, in my body, on my body type. And it's, it's, it's not easy, you guys. I'm doing cardio. I'm doing strength training. I'm doing everything you could think of I'm doing. And so that's why I'm always at the gym because, first of all, I want to have a healthy heart. I want I want to live a long life. I want to have a healthy heart. So you have to get your cardio in to, to keep your heart pumping. But I also want to balance my body type because I am short. And just like on someone that's, like if I'm 5'4", on some uh, woman that's 5'7", or 5'10", you know, she could be heavier than me, but her proportions you know kind of balance out a little bit more because she is taller so that's why i'm always at the gym but I, i'm making progress but that's one of the reasons and let me get back to the topic the importance of us healing before we um even casually date i know a lot of times people say well you're casually dating so many times people may throw out there you know look i'm not looking for anything serious this would just be fun you know let's hang out sometime and so there's no strings attached but I'm here to tell you there are strings attached. There are. If you're just getting out of a relationship with someone that hurt the hell out of you, you have no business engaging or touching another person. Because here's what I here's why I say this: the energy that you have on you from that hurt and that pain that you're still dealing with, you're gonna transfer that to the other person. Well, guess what? The other person is an innocent. That person is innocent. They don't deserve to be hurt they don't deserve to have all this toxic energy thrown upon them simply because you're angry and you refuse to let some stuff go you're still working through the, some things and it's just not fair and i'm here to tell you for the people that don't believe in god because i know not everybody believe in god you know there's something called karma out there and so you wouldn't want nobody and i'm talking to the gentleman now if you had a daughter, you wouldn't want nobody just, you know, okay, you're, you're mad at your ex-wife or you're mad at your ex-girl. She was horrible to you. You have every right to be mad, but you also have an accountability to heal so that you don't hurt somebody like your ex hurt you. And so a lot of what happens is a lot of times is that we take that negative hurt, that negative energy and that hurt, and we pass it on to other people. And it's simply not right. So then out of one failed relationship, one angry person woman or man can meet several different people because they're angry and they're hurt and they're trying to fill this void that's inside of them that and they just want to get rid of the hurt and they just want to you know you know want something quick to fix the grieving process of grieving another relationship well there there has we need to take that time that grieving process we need to take that time uh, figure out what role that we pay we play in the failed relationship if we have any toxic um, behavioral traits inside of us we need to deal with those traits so we don't repeat the cycle with the next you know relationship so that's why it's important to have a grieving process a grieving you know period instead of you going out just hurry up because you can't you know you can't be alone if you're in a position the way you feel like you can not be alone then there's already some issues there that need to be resolved because we should be able to be be alone and kind of take a 
uh, introspective look within ourselves to see where in our self that we are our own poison. But because we don't take that grieving period to grieve the failed relationship and to learn from it and grow, we take on this, this um, negative stance on the opposite gender. It happens. I see it happen. And it's unfortunate because all we're doing is we're passing on more hurt feelings and more trauma to other people simply because we refuse to take a step back and look at ourselves and make sure we're healing ourselves before we go out and attract the same people and go through the same stuff and even hurt somebody innocent. And here's why I, I believe we, the main reason why I believe, uh, I'm sorry, this thing is distracting me. Why I believe we should even consider healing before we casually date because you can casually, like you can meet somebody that you absolutely love alike and that person is everything you may need in a mate. And because you haven't healed and you're not ready, there may be some things that that person do that get, that, you know, sends off triggers, like could be, could trigger you. And then once they trigger you, you back up or you hurt or you just ghost them by the way ghosting somebody is a very toxic trait so i'm talking to the gentleman now now i know some women may do it but guys you shouldn't just ghost somebody you should be you should be emotionally mature enough to to sit down and have a conversation and say tell that person why you can no longer see them instead of just not taking their calls blocking them and not explaining anything we gotta start handling each other better than that but I'm trying to make a point here. Okay, so then you, you meet this person and you're dating this person and this person is cool and then you're liking their vibe and everything and then all of a sudden, because you haven't healed, they may do something that may remind you of your ex or something that happened in the past and guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna say, whoa, whoa, and then all those negative, all that negative energy that you have within you is gonna come out and you're gonna start lashing out at an innocent person and it's not right. So you leave that person alone and then you find somebody else and you go, you repeat that cycle. And then once they remind you of something that you haven't dealt with yet, then you're gonna do the same thing to that person. And you're gonna do the same thing to that person. Well, while you're pushing all these people away and you don't wanna deal with them no more, you're actually hurting them and you're hurting them. And then you're creating, and this, and I'm talking to the men now. So you're casually dating, uh, casually dating maybe five or six women and then Eventually you run out of women because you've hurt them all. And so you got this trail of hurt um, connections because these people are, you hurt these people. They didn't do anything to you. That was your ex that did something to you. Not the people that you just threw away and discarded. We got to start dealing with each other better than that, y'all. We got to, we have to do that. Because now this one man that was hurt by this one woman is now hurting five to six other women. And so these five or six other women have to go in, in, you know, in, into their selves and heal themselves so that they don't do that to the people that they meet. And if, But if they don't do it, then they're going to do it to the people that they meet. And then it just keeps going on and on. And that's why we can't have healthy, whole relationships because we're not taking the time to heal and deal with our own toxic behaviors and we have to even if that person was the worst thing in the world your ex you picked them you picked them so then you have to figure out why you have to you have to be culpable in this in this situation and understand there was something in me that if i was able to miss all of those red flags then i have some too i have some stuff i need to deal with so that's important, you guys. And, and I thought this was something I need to say because there's so many people out there, beautiful, attractive, educated people that cannot hold down a long-term, healthy, committed relationship because they haven't dealt with their demons from the past. Past relationships, past childhood, past traumas, whatever. We have to deal with them because we're, you have to believe that even if you don't talk about them or you don't deal with them, they're still embedded in you. And they're going to, every once in a while, they're going to be disrupted. And then they come out. I'm so sorry. My, I missed my allergy pill today and whew, uh, I'm allergic to outside. <laughs> Let's put it like that. So please excuse me. 
<clears throat> I'm just trying to clear my sinuses when I do that. I'm sorry. It may be too much information, but <laughs> that's what's going on with me. But I just wanted to bring this up. I wanted to let you guys know heal is, healing is imperative. Even for people that say, well, you know, I'm not looking for nothing serious. I just want to have fun. You know, that fun is going to be interrupted because you haven't dealt with yourself yet. I guarantee you it's going to happen every single time. And you could be meet the best coolest person ever and you'll ruin that opportunity because you haven't dealt with your past so this video today is to challenge everybody that has went through a hurtful breakup to you know be culpable in that situation because if you put it all on that person you'll never heal you never do your work you'll never do what you need to do so then the next time because your energy is clean and your energy is pure you're gonna attract a better person. And I'm not saying better as that I think somebody's better than the other, but their energy is gonna match yours. And, and you guys are gonna complement each other. That's why it's important. If you're carrying toxic energy and toxic traits, guess what, who you're gonna attract? Nine times out of 10, you will. Sometimes you'll attract people that are good for you, but you won't be able to, to, to keep them in your life because you haven't dealt with the past. So you always got to deal, we always have to deal with the past. And I want to challenge everybody because you don't want to be that person where car karma comes knocking at your door because you done broke 20 women's hearts or you done broke 20 brothers hearts went ladies because some of us are heartbreakers too. And then as soon as you find the one, I mean the one, you, you just know this, you feel like this is the one karma comes knocking at your door because of all of these hurt people that you got trailing behind you you've, you've hurt so many different people so why do that why not settle our issues before we bring other people into our bull crap why don't we we settle that and we clean our energy and we make sure that we don't want to you know do unto others that you would have them do unto you that's the bottom line nobody deserves you're so mad at your ex-girlfriend because she did all this horrible stuff to you and it's that toxic energy that you're going to take to somebody that's completely innocent. That's not right. Hello, y'all. Sorry, my phone cut off. It got too hot. I had it in my little holder and it got too hot. But that's basically the end of my video. We don't want to hurt other people. We want to heal and have productive relationships. And, you know, we, we don't want karma knocking at our door, uh, especially when we believe we found the person that we're supposed to spend the rest of our lives with. You know, so let's let's deal with ourselves. Um, I appreciate you all. Remember to always put God first in everything you do, and stay encouraged. I love you guys. Talk to you okay, later. A little Bye -bye. special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities. Uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.